Who has a special place in the itinerary of those connected with the broadcasting engineering profession at home and abroad. Apart from providing a unique platform, it also becomes a venue for sharing the latest technologies and innovations in the broadcasting field. The expo was inaugurated on Thursday by Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, Rajwardhan Singh Rathor. We are associated with prehistory of radio and broadcasting, and I am certain that we will remain associated with, with the future of broadcasting. And that is where all of you come. The last 10, 15 years have seen a tremendous growth in the broadcasting industry, in the private sector in India. The public broadcaster itself has expanded quite substantially. Prasar Bharti's chairperson, Dr. A. Surya Prakash, and CEO Johar Sarkar also took part in the event and explained the import of the expo to the gathering. The consumers are across the demographic spectrum and as a public broadcaster, Prasar Bharti is aware of the new media consumer and is determined to fulfill its core responsibilities that has been given to it by Parliament in the new environment. We are now a platform that reaches 65 channels, our own engineers through free dish to at least 20 million people of India. There will be several sessions on broadcast related issues during the three days that the expo is being held. Experts from Doordarshan and Akashwani will also share their experiences with participants. Organizers of the expo, Broadcast Engineering Society, works for wide dissemination of information and knowledge in the broadcasting field related to television and radio. Clearly, such events can go a long way in advancing that effort. With Rajesh Raj, Newsnight Desk, DD News.